Automatic transmissions and transaxles provide the mechanical linkage by which power is transferred from the engine to the drive wheels. This task is accomplished by providing a number of forward gear ratios that automatically change as the speed of the vehicle varies. In this course, we will cover the major components of the transmission and their operation. Upon completion of this course, you will be able to identify the key components and operation of the torque converter, mechanical system, hydraulic system, and electronic control system of automatic transmissions and transaxles. This module consists of two lessons and a module test. In this module, you will learn about the components and operation of the torque converter. Click Next to continue. A torque converter is made up of five main assemblies. These assemblies include the converter housing cover, pressure plate damper, turbine, stator, and the converter pump. The cover and pump turn at the same speed as the engine and act as a power input from the engine. The cover and pump also transfer the engine's motion to the turbine. The converter pump is a driving member. Finally, the cover of the torque converter is bolted to the engine flywheel, flex plate, and is welded to the converter pump. The pressure plate provides a mechanical link between the engine and the transmission while dampening engine vibration. The component is splined to the turbine hub and applies with the converter cover to provide a mechanical coupling of the engine to the transmission. The turbine assembly is driven by the converter pump through fluid motion. The force of the fluid hitting the turbine blades causes the turbine to rotate. The turbine assembly also transfers torque to the output shaft. The turbine assembly is the driven or output member. The stator assembly is used to multiply torque to launch the vehicle. The component is located between the pump assembly and the turbine assembly and is mounted on a one-way roller clutch. The one-way roller clutch allows the stator to rotate in one direction and prevents it from rotating in the other direction. Drag each torque converter component to its correct location. When you have finished the activity, click Check Answers to see how you did. The torque converter provides a fluid coupling for smooth transfer of torque between the engine and transmission. It produces torque multiplication that enables the vehicle to achieve better performance while providing a mechanical link between the engine and the transmission. The pressure plate eliminates the fluid coupling and increases fuel economy at higher vehicle speeds with the torque converter clutch TCC applied. Finally, the torque converter drives the transmission oil pump in order to generate transmission operating pressure. The engine crankshaft is bolted to one side of the flex plate while the torque converter is bolted to the other side. Engine torque is transferred to the torque converter through the flex plate. As the crankshaft rotates, the torque converter pump begins to rotate. As the converter pump rotates, Centrifugal force picks up fluid at the pump's center and discharges the fluid at the outside rim of the pump. Next, the fluid leaves the outer edge of the converter pump, hitting the outside of the rim of the turbine and through deflection causes the turbine to rotate. The turbine's rotation speed increases as the engine and converter pump increase RPM. The pressure plate is splined to the turbine hub and applies with the converter cover to provide a mechanical coupling of the engine to the transmission. The front of the pressure plate is covered with friction material. When the vehicle reaches approximately 30 miles per hour, fluid pressure is exhausted from the front side of the pressure plate. This action allows the fluid pressure on the back side of the pressure plate to force the friction material to engage against the converter cover. This creates a mechanical link between the engine and transmission. When the pressure plate assembly is applied, the amount of slippage that occurs through the fluid coupling is reduced but not eliminated.
This results in a more efficient transfer of torque to the drive wheels. To reduce torsional shock during the apply of the pressure plate to the converter cover, a spring-loaded damper assembly is used. A viscous clutch plate is used on the 4T80 e transaxle and applies mainly to Cadillac vehicles. The viscous converter clutch performs the same damping functions as the conventional converter clutch. The primary difference between the two is the method of damping the apply feel. In the viscous clutch plate, the spring damper is replaced by using a very thick viscous silicon fluid sealed between the body and cover of the clutch plate assembly. When the viscous clutch is applied, the silicon fluid forces the turbine to rotate close to the same speed as the converter cover. With viscous apply, there is still a minimal amount of slippage between the rotor and the body, about 40 rpm at 97 kmh or 60 miles per hour. The torque converter drives the transmission oil pump. In front-wheel drive transaxles, the oil pump drive shaft is splined to the converter cover. Since they are splined together, both the converter cover and the transmission oil pump turn at engine speed. For rear-wheel drive transmissions, the hub on the converter pump is used to drive the oil pump. The converter hub has notches that directly connect to the oil pump rotor or gear. The stator assembly is mounted on a one-way roller clutch between the converter pump assembly and the turbine assembly. The stator redirects fluid from the turbine to the converter pump assembly and assists in turning the converter pump assembly. At lower speeds, vehicles require more torque. To generate greater torque, fluid hits the front side of the stator blades and the one-way roller clutch prevents the stator from rotating in the same direction as the fluid flow. Next, the locked stator redirects the fluid to assist the engine in turning the converter pump. The fluid leaving the converter pump now has more force to turn the turbine assembly and multiply engine torque. Click the high speed button to learn. At higher vehicle speed, there is less need for torque. The direction of fluid flow changes so that it hits the back side of the stator blades. Next, the converter is at coupling speed and the roller clutch overruns and allows the stator to rotate freely. Finally, fluid is no longer being redirected to the converter pump and engine torque is not being multiplied. You have completed this module. In this module, you learned about the components and operation of the torque converter. This test contains five questions. You must answer each question correctly before moving on to the next question. You will be able to review the content for each missed question.